how noise canceling works. A lot of people are looking for noise canceling headphones as a gift for the holidays. And noise canceling headphones are great. The Bose are quite awesome, but I even have a set of cheap Panasonics that were about $30 that work quite well. And the reason that noise canceling works well is because of how most noise works. Noise canceling headphones won't remove the sounds of your chatty neighbors if they're active noise canceling as opposed to passive noise canceling. So we're first going to talk about active noise canceling. Active noise canceling works because sound is a wave. It makes the nice little wave just like the ocean does. Well, if you can create a wave that is the anti-wave, you can cancel out the sounds. Now, if you've ever looked at a pair of noise canceling headphones, there's a microphone that is right next to the ear. And what it does is the ambient sounds that are coming in, it picks up, calculates the anti-wave for them, and inserts that into the play of the music that you're listening to. And as a result, you create the anti-wave in there. Now, this works really well with things that are cyclical, things like airplane noise or the fans that are running in the background of an office or the hum of the fluorescent lights or those kinds of things. It doesn't work so well on things like a jackhammer because the jackhammer isn't a consistent enough sound in order to have it go away. Now, I don't know whether or not the microphone is going to pick up the demo right, and I can't hear what the microphone's doing. But let me explain a simple experiment that you can play with to see how this works. So I'm at the 7thString.com's tuning fork, which will let you make a tone generator on your computer. And so I've picked the A that is two A's above middle C. Now, if you have two speakers on your desktop, you can point them at each other and play the tone. Play the tone. And as the two speakers, you move the speakers closer together slowly, at certain intervals, you will have the ability to cause those two speakers to come out of phase of each other. And one will make the anti-wave for the other, and the two waves will cancel each other out. Now, in the house, I can make it work, and I don't know that I can make it work with the microphone, but you can, in fact, actually use this technique to drone out things like a whistle. So if you can whistle at the A above C, at certain distances, this wave will cancel out the sound of my whistling in the microphone, and it's doing the same thing that the headphones are doing. Now, again, because I can't hear the microphone that's over there while hearing this, while whistling, I don't know that I can set up the science experiment, but like I said, if you take two identical stereo speakers and you play the tone and face them at each other, you can find spots where the, the sound will drop significantly, even to the point that it almost cancels itself out. So, that's how active ones work. Passive noise is much easier to describe. It's basically like sticking your fingers in your ears and all of a sudden you can't hear anything. Passive noise cancelling works on all types of noises, but unlike active noise cancellation where you'll still be able to hear non-cyclical sounds like people talking, active noise cancelling is going to drown out everything. As a result, you can kind of use active noise cancelling while riding in your car. You shouldn't, but you would still be able to hear the people in the car and you'd still be able to hear sirens come up behind you. With active, with passive noise cancelling rather, the insulation is going to prevent you from hearing any of those sounds. And that's how the sounds at gun ranges work, is that they, you know, plugs for your ears and you don't hear anything. So, Passive noise cancelling is great if you're going to use it in an environment where you want total isolation. 
Active noise canceling is better if you want to be able to hear the people around you. And if you're on an airplane and you want to make sure that the person sitting next to you doesn't drive you insane, as opposed to the sound of the engines, get the passive, because you could be sitting next to a crying baby and not hear a thing.